hello friends welcome back to my uh, channel uh, today i am this i am showing you how to graph uh, s parameter or return losses versus frequency graph in excel so first of all i will click on this uh, in cst on s parameter you can see here a graph is open okay oh, 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 open after that i will select on post processing and in post processing i will click on i will click on uh, import option in a import option you will click on plot data i will give a name it to s parameter i have stored s parameter on the stop so you can see here this parameter is stored you will also see uh, a data is parameter is like that after saving it so i wanna replace it you can see this parameter has stored here in on the stop now i will open excel in excel i will select on data after in data i will select from text from text and here i will select this top in this top i have already stored this parameter so i will import that i will just fix i will select just fixed width after that i will click on next next and finally i will click on finish here i can select a uh, cell from here we want to start our data so i want to start from here so you can see sheet 1a column a and row number 4 has selected i can i can also change a cell number you can observe it here so actually i want to start from here so i will just click on ok data has opened in uh, excel now i will need to plot on uh, i plot it on a graph so i will click on insert and after that scatter data and i will select this i will now i i will click right click and from here i will select data i will data i will add data so i just i am giving it name is parameter select uh, series x values so i am starting uh, actually on x is i am uh, adding uh, a frequency so i will start it from here up to one zero uh, one double zero five after then I will select S parameters so I will just select this data from here up to 1005 at the end of the S parameter up to you can see here this is the end of the data and this has you can observe here similarly can also see 105 is the end of frequency you can observe it here okay before clicking on okay this parameter graph has the has open has shown here so I will just click on ok and after that I will also click on ok now you can see here the frequency value has shown above the graph I want to bring it below the graph so I will just double click no I will right click on it and I will select here format axis
okay axis label i want to show axis label below so i will select below the graph so i will select low so here you can observe it this values has come below the uh, at below at below the graph now actually my graph is here and frequency is starting from zero so i will so the minimum point the minimum values of frequency is starting from zero and want to start it from 0 0.6 so i will so i will change i will manually change it to 0 0.6 now you can observe it here the frequency value is changed from 0.6 so actually it is start starting from 0 0.65 so i will just i will select 0 0.65 you can see here it okay now i want to select maximum point which is actually up to 0 0.8 so i will i will fix it up to 0. So I will close this. Now these lines are not important, so I can delete it by uh, by clicking it. So for selecting for select for this point selection, I will just double click. Sorry, I will just click upon it, and after that I will. Uh, press delete option delete key in my keyboard okay now the second point is that these points are above and pointing to the uh, inside so i want to cancel these points which is actually which is actually um, Uh, you can you can change it after uh, okay so first of let's change it so i will just click on uh, right click and format access the format says major trick marks i want to d delete so i will just select none Okay, call is coming. 